White laser flashlights have taken the industry by storm. Not because of their brightness, but because of the impossible distances that they can reach. Their laser-like beam makes them a bit of a niche tool, but if you just want a laser for the joy of owning a laser, something that might be out of reach is the price. For a Welltool W4 Pro, you're looking at almost $500. <coughs> For the little guy, three Benjamins will do it, and so on down the line. But what if we take at least a couple of those off the table? This is the Mate Minco FW2. It's a compact white laser with a 425,000 candela rating. It has a 310 lumen output, but remember that isn't really the number that counts with laser flashlights. It's large enough that you'll still be getting the full power and battery life of an 18650, but also comes with a short body. Power-wise, it falls between the Welltool W3 Pro and the Lumentop Thor 1, and still the cheapest light on the table if you use the coupon code in the YouTube description. It has a low and high output plus a strobe function. When I use the light, I can avoid hitting strobe by shifting gear slowly or activate it by a double tap. One thing about this light that made me throw up in my mouth a little bit is there's no memory. I have two of these and they both come on in the opposite mode that I last used. This makes it a no-go for tactical situations, but as a novelty light, it's okay. It has a two-color lighted tail switch that's mechanical, which I prefer most of the time, and a lockout for zero parasitic drain. We're going to start out in the day so that you can see how far this is. It's a long, a long way. And plus, you can see these in the daytime. Here's the Thor one. Okay, we go down the hill and you kind of lose it there a little, but you can see we come back up on the other side. It's still visible and pretty easy hitting the tractor. You can see it better with my eyes than the camera can, but we'll, we'll do it again when it's a little darker. There's Thor 1. Here's F Blue and Top F, or the... Mate Minco FW2. The Well Tool W3. There's W4. Do a quick profile comparison. That's Lumen Top Thor 1 on the bottom, and Mate Minco FW2 on the top. Now we'll do Well Tool W3 Pro at the bottom. Quite a bit larger diameter beam on that guy. That's the smaller of the Well Tool lights. And then let's compare just for fun to the W4 Pro. For some reason, the camera doesn't pick it up. Well, that that one on the bottom looks bigger than it is. Realistically, the hot spot for the W4 is like half the size of the Mate Minco. OK, 
Okay, there's uh, the Thor one busting out on the old tractor. Uh, now we'll do the Mate Minco FW2. The Well Tool W3 Pro. Now, uh, the W4 Pro. I keep Mate Minko on the left for this. Alright, there's the Mate Minko. Now on the right, we'll do Thor 1. Basically, those are all, all almost identical hotspot sizes. I mean, I wouldn't be able to tell the difference between the two. Uh, now we're going to switch to uh, from Thor 1 on the right to the Well Tool W3. This really. I'd say the hot spot is about, not double, but I'd say all, about half again as big, the W3 Pro, about half again the size of the, the Mate Minco. So, uh, you know, a four or five hundred dollar light compared to like a hundred dollar light.